Hey there, fellow Bidisol enthusiasts. Uh, Dan at Dr. Dan's Bidisol in beautiful Seattle, Washington. Here we are. I have a, a Mercedes 300D. This is one of the earlier ones, a non turbo, back to, you know, they're pretty much all the same uh, up until they got uh, fancier in the later 80s. Um, so we're just going to go over some of the typical Bidisol things on these vehicles. You know, pretty stout, but just like anything else, you need to make sure it has all its precious bodily fluids, uh, you know, as in motor oil, coolant, uh, don't overheat the thing, and of course it needs lots of good, clean, filtered fuel. Uh, that's my mantra. Um, anyhow, uh, believe it or not, hoses on these when they came new were bi-diesel compatible. Of course, this car is uh, ancient, and it's who knows what those hoses have been replaced with. Um, so we happen to know this one has bi-diesel compatible hoses on it. It's got uh, some of the, the Trident uh, nylon lined hose, you know, Gates or uh, Deco. They also make some good bi-diesel hose. Doesn't necessarily have to be the Viton. Uh, this one happens to have the Viton on the fuel return line, but the, uh, you know, the good quality fabric stuff um, seems to work uh, just fine. Um, the, uh, uh, it seems like the Mercedes stuff was just, you know, good quality. Uh, this has a primary fuel filter and a secondary fuel filter. The primary is this little strainer down here. And people just look at that and think, oh, that's a fuel filter. It looks just fine. Well, uh, no, it's just the coarse one. And this is the fine one. This one happens to have a lot of garbage in it. We'll pull it out so that you can see it uh, uh, in a minute. But uh, this car doesn't really have my, many symptoms. Um, it smokes a little bit when it gets warm, but the filter is obviously plugged. Uh, and that's hard on the, the unit. So uh, we're going to change those. Uh, I've already loosened the clamps. And here I have a little clean sample thing so that we can put uh, fuel in there and see what comes out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. I'd say, you know, that is not good clean filtered fuel. That's pretty darn icky. Look at all that. And of course, the, you know, the main filter is going to be uh, uh, just as bad. So let's uh, get this out of here. Just unscrew that. Now it comes, try not to spill too much on too many things. And just dump it in there. And hey, that's kind of a funny color, isn't it? Anyhow, so we know that there's just issues. Um, looks like uh, this one's going to have to have its fuel tank cleaned out. We're going to put another filter on it to, uh, to get it going. Um, always use a, a good quality filter. There's a a bunch of different uh, manufacturers um, and uh, we usually pour fuel back in to refill them but uh, these have a lovely little primer pump so we're going to use the, the primer pump and put it, the new strainer in nice clean good quality it's a clear one so you can actually see what's in there uh, there are lots of ones that are opaque that you can't see what's in there. Come on, what are we doing? And uh, tighten up the clamps. No big deal there, not too tight, good quality clamps. And here's a little primer pump. 
starting to fill up the filter there and watch out I didn't tighten up this so when it starts gushing out all over the place then we know that we're full and you don't want biodiesel to leak onto something and just sit there you should wash it off oh there we go so it's starting to come out the top gonna finish tightening that and give it a few more pumps get through the rest of the system here's some differences in noises so it's getting up against pressure and uh, and start it up. If any time that you've run a, a diesel, uh, the plug fuel filter and it's quit running, that means air has gotten in the system, or you've run out of fuel, um, or you changed the filter and you got air in the system, it won't run. You'll have to bleed the air out of the system. And how you do that is by cracking the fuel lines at the injectors. Uh, so just you know, quarter turn to loosen it up, and uh, then crank the engine, and then when fuel spurts happily out of those, then you can stop cranking and tighten those up, and then uh, hopefully you've gotten enough of the air out that we'll start back up again. Um, that's the main thing on these. Um, uh, you know, pretty stout, uh, reliable. Uh, covered hoses, we've covered filters, so have fun.